Robin of Robin Ruth Design. Thanks for visiting my site. I'd like to take a few minutes to give you a short overview of my method and system of books, rulers, and patterns for making strip pieced mariner's compass blocks in 16 sizes. That's right, no paper piecing or tedious templates. Just choose your size, cut your strips, and go. Here's how it works. There are two sister books and rulers which make slightly different looking compasses using the same exact method. Notice how the points on this compass are skinny and the points on this compass are fat. This is the Skinny Robin 16 point Mariner's Compass book and its ruler. And this is the Fat Robin 16 point Mariner's Compass book and its ruler. The difference between these two is the angle used in constructing the blocks. The Skinny Robin uses a 45 degree angle and the Fat Robin uses a 60 degree angle. You will also notice that the Skinny Robin book is blue and the Fat Robin book is green. All of my patterns are color coded so you will know right away if you need a Skinny Robin ruler or a Fat Robin ruler. Blue and green don't mix because the rulers are based on different angles. You can view all my patterns on the shop page on my website and will quickly see that I have something for everyone, whether you are a traditional or a more modern quilter. You will see on the front covers of each of the books that you can make both traditional Mariner's Compass blocks and also compass variations, including sunflowers and compass sunflowers. You will be able to make any of these blocks in even sizes from 6 inches to 36 inches with just one ruler. Also included with each book is a pattern sheet that has all of the circle sizes needed for finishing your compass blocks. Both books include detailed instructions and great step-by-step -step illustrations to give you a clear understanding of my strip piecing method. You will learn different traditional finishing methods as well as no circle finish blocks, which I call octocompasses, and instructions for making both quarter and half compasses. Three quilt patterns are included, which highlight the different compass block variations and finishing methods. And if that isn't enough, there is also info explaining different methods for finishing the centers of your blocks, tips for lefties, and many other design and fun tips included as well, like some pie recipes. Now let me show you a little how this method works and how the Robin Ruth rulers are used to make these amazing compasses. You will use the same exact method whether you are making a 6 inch compass or a 36 inch compass. The easiest way to show you are with my short video animations that I'll show you a couple of in a moment. These videos can be found on my website and also on my free app. I say it's as easy as pie. Pie is the basic building unit for your compass block and with its construction you will learn most of the techniques needed to complete a compass block. Let's start with a skinny robin compass. You'll start with two strips of fabric sewn together and then cut them apart at a 45 degree angle for the skinny. You'll take a regular straight edge and cut off what I call the background triangle and save it for a minute. Now you'll use my ruler. You'll make two cuts, the bottom and the top. You're simply choosing the one line on each side of that kite for your size block. Take the triangle we cut off, sew it back on, and now you have pi. You'll make your eight pi, and four of them will go on the next strip. Cut them apart with a straight edge. Use my ruler to make those same two cuts, except you're just turning it around and use the other kite. 
Take your reserve pie, sew it on the other side, and now you have big pie. Those four big pie go on the last strip. One more cut with my ruler. You'll sew those four units together and you have a mariner's compass. No Y seams here and then different finishing techniques to finish your block. And the fat robin compass works the same way. Sew the strips together and this time we'll cut them apart at a 60 degree angle. Take a regular straight edge, cut off the background triangle and save it. Use your fat robin ruler to make two cuts, the bottom and the top, again choosing the one line on each side of that kite for your size block. Take those triangles we cut off, sew them back on, and now you've got fat pie. Take four of those fat pie and sew them on the next strip. Cut them apart with a straight edge. Use my ruler, make those same two cuts using kite A this time. Add your reserve pie, and now you've got big pie. Those four big pie go on the last strip. One more cut with my ruler. And once again, sew those four units together, and you have a fat robin mariner's compass. Now, of course, these videos aren't meant to be tutorials for making my compass blocks. Real-time tutorials are available both on my website and free app, where you can follow right along with me as I make a compass block or many of the compass variations. Just queue up the video and we will make the blocks together. Once you're off and running with your 16-point blocks, you may then want to try my 32-point Mariner's Compass book and ruler. This 32-point ruler works with either the Skinny Robin or Fat Robin ruler to take your 16-point blocks to 32 points. Notice how this book is half blue and half green. This is because the ruler that comes with this book has both a skinny and a fat kite for adding the 16 extra points to make 32. Again, you start with the 32 point ruler and then use either the skinny robin or fat robin rulers to complete these compass blocks and many more 32 point variations. There are also 32 point patterns available, color coded for skinny and fat, and it will tell you right on the front of the pattern if you need the 32 point Mariner's Compass book and ruler to make that pattern. And a quick word about my angle ruler. This six inch by 14 inch ruler is a straight edge ruler I designed with all the angles needed for making my blocks in the middle of the ruler for easier construction. For making 16 point blocks, you just need either a 45 or a 60 degree angle which does come on most straight edge rulers that you may already have. If the angles are on the ends of the straight edge ruler, it can make construction a little more challenging. This angle ruler has some other angles that are needed for constructing the 32 point blocks and that are not found on any other ruler. I do, however, provide a transparency in the 32 point book that you can affix to your own ruler for constructing any of the 32 point blocks. I do have a great free app as well. Search Robin Ruth Design at the App Store or at Google Play. Here you will find both my animated videos as well as my real time video tutorials. You'll also find a great block design feature which has all of the American made brand solid colors so you can preview your blocks before committing them to fabric. For Apple users, there is a strip calculator where you can put in what size and how many blocks you'd like to make, and the app will tell you the strips to cut. Android users don't despair as this feature is also included on my website. My goal all along has been to help make these strip-pieced Mariner's Compass blocks accessible to all quilters 
and to provide as much instruction and support as I can to make that possible. I hope you will want to give my rulers and method a try and make your own creative Mariner's Compass project. Happy compassing and I hope to see you soon somewhere out on the quilt trail.